Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to be doing a Super Nintendo uh, collection today. Um, I don't think I've ever actually done this. Uh, I recorded one last week, but then uh, I forgot to... Excuse me, I forgot to upload it, and um, I just got a few more games, so I, th I thought, let me just redo it. And I have nothing to do right now, so I'll start with my box games. I only have four of them. Um, these these two are my newest ones. They're, there's nothing special, but... Um, first one is Shaq Fu. I don't know if I showed you guys. I don't think I did. But, I don't know, either way, um, this is like, people say it's one of the worst games of all time, so, pretty happy I have it, um, <laughs> completely boxed. Um, it's not in the best shape, but it's complete, um, it comes with the poster, insert, everything. So it's pretty cool to have, um, it's the first game. Then I have a complete boxed, uh, NHL 96. Uh, I just, like I've said a thousand times before, I love old hockey games, so, um, this is always, always pretty fun to get, um, these used to be, I guess, rental copies, um, because there's stickers on the back saying it, basically. Um, but yeah, so NHL 96, not a lot to say with that. Um, next is my box, Chrono Trigger. I haven't played this one yet, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm still trying to play through another game, which I'll show you in a second. But um, yeah, so this will be, once I finish my other game, that's definitely going to be my next game that I start playing. Then sometime after that, I'll probably start playing Secret of Mana. Again, box, but not complete. I forget what it's missing. I get the manual, I think. But moving on, um, this is the game I have been playing: Super Mario RPG, uh, Legend of the Seven Stars. I really like it. I probably, probably about like six hours into it, if not more. I've got three stars out of the out of the seven. Probably it takes somewhere about sixteen hours to beat. Um, so still have a, a little ways to go. Um, but probably right when I'm done with this. Um, I'll be playing, I'll be, watch, once I'm done with this video, and trying to watch some wrestling, but I can't, wrestling's terrible, um, but yeah, so, really awesome game, really happy I have it, sometime after I'm done with all that stuff, um, I will be playing this game, uh, Breath of Fire 2, uh, Breath of Fire 1, excuse me, followed by Breath of Fire 2, um, that's so far down the road, I don't even know when <laughs> that will be, but, yeah, so I haven't played those really yet, um, so I'm not really going to spend too much time on them. And this is the last game I haven't played. Um, well, yeah, almost. It's um, Mickey Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse. I got this at uh, Play and Trade. It was just like a free throw, and I had to pick one. But anyway, uh, next after that, NBA Jam, one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. I love it. It's just a lot of fun to play. Um, it's just a great arcade port really fun and they're bringing it to Xbox Live Arcade which is pretty awesome as well um, NHL 93 let's talk about it uh, next up what is this Super Mario World uh, I like Super Mario Brothers 3 more but uh, you can't go wrong with this one either um, still a lot of fun to play um, why am I putting it down I'm gonna try and put this back so I don't make a huge mess I need to get something to organize these with um, after that, Super Mario Kart is the first one in the series. Um, yeah, I, don't, I was just going to say something, but it's totally, totally wrong. Um, but yeah, Super Mario Kart, I'm sure you guys have played it. Or have played a Super Mario Kart before. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars. This is actually, I love having this game, because I love the Super Mario games on, this, on the uh, NES. So having them all on one cart on the Super Nintendo was pretty awesome. Um, and also it comes with the Lost Levels, which was Super Mario Bros. 2, but... Yeah, you know the story. I don't have the one with uh, with Super Mario World on it though, so I think this one's harder. Is more expensive to be honest. Uh, Street Fighter Two. You played Street Fighter. Tecmo Bowl. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. I'm sorry. Probably my favorite football game of all time. It's it's a lot of fun to play. Um, it's just it still holds up pretty well. It's it has aged well. Not graphically, obviously, but just you know playability it's definitely aged well so is uh, Donkey Kong Country uh, this is one of like the you know this was like the last great um, as far as I remember and I've heard actually maybe not but this really um, showed how you know how much the Super Nintendo could do uh, graphically um, and it's just a lot of fun I, I remember playing this in, in my old house when I used to live in the city um, we used to play this my entire family a lot of fun a lot of fun the Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, um, 
I am not a huge Zelda fan, which I've said on my channel many times. I, I don't like the game. I've only played two. Oh, that's not true. I've played the first one. I played this one, and I played um, what's the other one? Twilight Princess when I had the when I had a Wii. But uh, this is probably my favorite. I just can't get into them. But this one was actually pretty good. I didn't obviously beat it or anything, but good. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. Really awesome game. Um, there was a little trend going on back in the day um, on on older consoles that you know athletes had their own games. I have another one from Roger Clemens. Another there was like a Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson game on on I guess some system, but it's weird. You don't see that anymore. You know, in modern day consoles, but except for Tiger Woods, I guess. But um, yeah, it's a really great great um, baseball game. It doesn't take itself too seriously while still being a simulation type game. Um, this is probably one of my least favorite games of all time is uh, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. I just, I hate it. I hate the sight of it. Um, ESPN National Hockey Night. I used to rent this from Blockbuster like crazy that it was so bad that like it, the red line burned a, uh, a hole, uh, not burned a hole, burned like a line in our TV. Um, it's just a great I just love this game. It has it's a bit purely nostalgia, um, but it's still you know it's still fun to play. If, you know for me at least. Combat Tribes. Um, it's just a beat 'em up. Star Fox. Uh, I haven't played this to be honest. I bought it for like ten bucks, but I never played it. I don't know why I did that, but I'll get around to it maybe someday. This is the Roger Clemens game I was talking about. Roger Clemens presents Major League Baseball. MVP Baseball, I'm sorry. So it's Roger Clemens' no presents. Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. It's actually pretty good. Um, again, like the Ken Griffey Jr. game, this is, um, Roger Clemens is the only uh, real athlete or baseball player in the game. Almost done is uh, Primal Rage. Um, this cart is filthy. It's really nasty. Um, it's a fighting game. I'm sure you've all heard of Primal Rage. And NHL 98. I got this from 16-Bit uh, Junkie, who already emailed me or messaged me asking uh, what I what he, what I wanted for Secret of Mana, but I'm not going to get rid of it just yet, maybe someday. But that's the SNES collection. I had nothing to do, so I thought you guys you know, would want to see that. I haven't put out a video in a couple days. Um... And that's it. I'll be doing a recent pickups fairly soon, probably next week. Got a few games. And uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys later.